enter the Alte Pharma application and order medicine. It doesn't say specifically what we need to order. You guys can see all the different kinds of medicine that it has that we can choose from. I think if anything, we'll just buy the first four that are up here. I'm not even gonna begin to try to start pronouncing the names for all this stuff. Hey man, y'all see what the f*** going on? It's your boy Peach, we back at it. Today we're gonna be playing Pharmacy Simulator. Real quick before we start the video, if you guys are new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Also turn on bell notifications, that way anytime I upload a video, you guys will be notified. To all my returning subscribers, welcome back. So glad to have you guys here. Other than that, we're gonna jump right into it. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. So we're gonna start off by pressing new game. Starting us off with $1,000, currently level one. Up in the top left is where it says all of that. Top right is gonna be the time of the day. And then the bottom left, you guys can see we have our quest. So we have one out of 14 quests currently first one says interact with a sign using E and change the store's name Okay, so here we are. We're gonna name our pharmacy that Pharmacy I think we'll do a nice bluish purple color our next quest says go to the computer and use it by pressing the E button So we'll go behind the desk to our computer next it says enter the store application and buy a pharmacy shelf We'll click store and then we have our pharmacy standard shelf right here for $150 So it looks like the medicine capacity is gonna be 60 We'll add this to our cart and then we'll go to the top right and hit pay So our next quest is saying enter the Alte Pharma application and order medicine It doesn't say specifically what we need to order you guys can see all the different kinds of medicine that it has that we can choose from i think if anything we'll just buy the first four that are up here i'm not even gonna begin to try to start pronouncing the names for all this stuff because there's no way i'm gonna do it so at any rate click one 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 and also one on this so we have four separate medicines in her cart it's showing us the quantity price first one's 50 second one's 50 third one's 40 fourth one's 75 so our total is gonna be 215 we'll hit pay next take the bros store box with the e key press the b key then place the shelf with lmb so we have our bros store boxes outside we'll press E, and we'll come inside. So we'll press B, so we'll place material. I guess we'll stick this shelf towards the back right there. Next, we're gonna start grabbing all of our medicine. And we'll start sticking all of these on here. All right, we got a pretty goofy lineup going on right now. You guys can see it's not really separated too well. It's kind of mix and match right now. That's all right, though, because we are just starting off, so I'm not really too worried about it. And I just realized we're already at level four. Is that what that says up in the top level? What the hell? How is that? At any rate, our next quest says activate the cash register with E. You guys can see on our cash register, we have a column for product name, quantity, and price. Then it lists the amount in the bottom right, how much it adds up to be. To the right of that, we have our card reader, so we'll punch in whatever the amount is and then hit the check button to go on. All right, so we'll flip this on. Our next quest says press the E button to talk to the customer. So we got our first customer. Hello, what would you like? One is the Torin. One, okay. Um, yeah, I don't think, hold on. Let me check and see. Oh, it gives us a little checklist on the side. Very nice. Let's see. I only have the Alex Gen. Yeah, that's about all I have. So there's one of the items. You can sell the customer missing medications if you have at least one of the products they want, but this may affect the XP gain and the popularity of the store slightly. Well, there's nothing we can really do. We don't have it. Level five, these are unlocked. Says prize money, $500. We got a warehouse rack and then also decoration products. And we'll hit the cash registers. We're looking at $11 for the price of one of these. So we'll hit one, one green check all right we're good to go we officially completed our first customer for our next quest it says open the store app and buy paint and tiles from the decoration section so let's see decoration we got the different tiles on the right hand side and then the wall paints on the left hand side i'm not sure what color we want to go for quite yet oh, maybe a navy blue color might be nice so then the tiles are the next thing we're looking at i guess these ones look the best i don't know how many we gotta buy exactly either okay so 185 quest number 12 Take the paint can to the store and place it on the ground. Hold the tab key to select the roller. And while holding the roller, RMB on the paint can to load paint onto your brush. Then hold LMB to paint the wall. So we will grab our supplies, which are over here. We got our paint in hand. We'll set this down right here. We'll also go back and grab our tiles as well. So next we're gonna hit our tab key and go to the paint roller. So we're gonna hold down the right click to get the paint on our brush and hold down left click to paint the wall. So it looks like we have to apply paint after every 
time we do one of these sections. I mean, that's not too bad. It is a pretty big section of the wall, to be honest. Can't complain too much. Boom, look at that back wall. That looks a million times better. It looked like an abandoned crack den in here before. I mean, look at the floor. That shit is messed up. And the walls that are remaining, I mean, come on now. That was all the paint that we had. So we will pick this bucket up and bring it to the trash. Next, quest 13 says take the tile box to the store and place it on the ground. Hold the tab key to select the hammer. And while holding the hammer, right mouse button on the tile box to pick up a tile, then hold left mouse button to paint the wall. Easy enough. We'll select our hammer. Right click on the mouse to pick it up. Hold down left click. Place it down just like the walls. So we just hit level six. We just unlocked some different kinds of lights. This will definitely come in handy eventually because it is kind of a little dark in here. We do have a couple lights as it is, but I think the long light strips will be a lot better, honestly. We'll finish off however many floor tiles we have left. I'm not really sure how many come with the pack. It looks like this is the last one. So we definitely need to buy more paint and then more floor tiles, obviously. But I mean, this floor tile with the walls, you can't even see nothing else. Just look at that combo. It looks like a freshly painted brand new building. And then you look over here and it looks like shit. But we're working on it. Don't worry. We'll come back to this. Our 14th and final quest says exit the shop. Go to the side of the sign and open the shop by pressing the E key. So this is the sign it's talking about. We'll hit E. Now our pharmacy is open. While holding the hammer, approach the wall and hold down the right mouse button. Key to demolish the wall for $100. Note, only the walls behind the vault can be demolished. You need to purchase other stores to demolish the side walls. This applies within the warehouse. So since our pharmacy is open, I think what I want to do actually is buy another shelf. That would probably be a good idea. And then we can start buying some more of the other medicines and stuff. Let's go pick the shelf up. I think what I'm going to do I'm gonna start ordering all the different medicines before I take any customers. I don't know how long the customers are gonna stay for. We'll see if they leave while we're doing this. Next, we'll buy one of each of these and then we'll go down one more by one of each of these. So we're up to $550. We have 1,011 currently. So we'll just buy the last row of these and then hopefully we should have enough shelf space. And it looks like our total is gonna come out to $663.00. 50 cents. We will purchase that. We got our line of people. So we'll go. Oh my God. I love the perfect stack. That is amazing. Start placing all of our medicine onto the shelf. Yeah, so we're definitely gonna have to get another shelf. We're about to run out of room after I stock these on here, actually. So let's see, how many boxes we have left? We got, what, six? We'll probably have to buy two more shelves. Wait, hold on, how much did they cost again? Let's go back to the store really quick. So 150, we do have enough to buy two, good shit. Okay, so we'll pay for that. So we just hit level seven. Our next unlock is the height weight scale. That's good to know. Apparently we are turning into a Walgreens and or a CVS, so there's that. We go set up our shelves, keep them right next to each other. And then eventually we'll get to the point where it's going to be the whole entire wall. Each shelf is going to be dedicated to one medicine in total. I feel like that way it'll make it a little easier. But until then, this is what we're working with. So it looks like all the customers are still there. Thankfully, they haven't ran away. All right, here is our last box. And now we have all the medicines that we currently can unlock and use for the meantime. Next thing we got to do is go to the cash register and start working with the customers. Looks like we just hit level eight. We unlocked a couple new things. Looks like we got baby mother products and then also product shelf of a new style. Gonna continue on with our customers for the rest of the day. And I'll see you guys once we're done with that. All right, looks like we just hit level nine. So we're gonna go ahead and close the pharmacy for the night. We ended up making it to $747.50. So something I was wanting to check out, it was talking about, we got a warehouse. So it says we need a deposit of $12.50 and the rent is $25. We only have $747 right now, so we do not have enough. I think what I wanna do is go to the shop. We're gonna go down to the paint. We'll buy three of these. I'm not 100% sure how many tiles we need. So we'll just do three for right now. So it's gonna be $555. There's our last ceiling tile painted. Man, it looks so much better in here from when we started already. I can't even believe it. Looks like this fluorescent light is going for $60. So I think what we'll do, we'll buy four of these right over here in this corner. Stick another one over this side. Stick this one over in that corner. Also stick it in the last corner over here. So it shows us our end of day report. Our income was $1,971. Our expenses were $2,757.05. And then it breaks down everything into little subcategories. Our profit was minus is seven hundred eighty six dollars and five cents all right guys that's gonna do it for today's episode if you enjoyed the video make sure you leave a like also leave a comment down below don't forget if you haven't subscribed make sure you do that and also feel free to go check out some of my other videos other than that guys i'm out of here thanks so much for watching i'll see you in the next one Yo, what is up with these people sliding down that dude's pissed
He's so mad he can't even walk. He just has to slide. And apparently he can't make it around the fence. You okay, my guy? You having a mental breakdown? Man, standing out there by the fence talking about, Oh, can I get a refund? Looking at... Oh my gosh, guys, look at this. This is actually insane. I cannot believe we were playing Nocturne Toten on a literal web browser page. This is actually nuts. And the map, it looks good, too. The movement, it's pretty smooth. It's kind of a little buggy here and there, but I mean, what do you expect? It's literally from a web browser. Like, come on now. Hey, Zach, go down to that hole. Yeah, go <laughs> down to that hole. That's promising. I ain't going down shit. Come on, bro. We'll take a dirt nap. <laughs> you tripping, folks? Where's this shit at? Right? Oh my god. Go Don't go in the cave. Finally, someone agrees with Don't me. What's going on in the cave? cave? Don't go in the cave. Go in the cave if you want to die. That's all I got to say. Bro, No, no. Bruh. What? They literally folded my shit, bruh. Come on. 